Hey everybody, just want to drop a quick note before we watch the video. Uh, I'm at 14,800 subscribers. We're almost at 15. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. I also want to remind everybody about the 99 cent memberships. They're going to actually be taking over all the other mid-level memberships so you'll be able to join the channel and become a member for just 99 cents. I stated in a video about two weeks ago that sometimes I do videos and put information out there and either because of a lack of a good thumbnail or you know me maybe just giving it a horrible title that a lot of good information goes overlooked because of probably me or YouTube's algorithm. That's what we're going to do today. We're actually going to revisit an application that I truly believe is very important in the Linux community. When I mean important, I think you ought to use it. It's a good way to optimize your Linux system. doesn't matter whether you're on Debian all the way over to Arch and anything in between. This is a great application and I think if you actually start using it and utilizing the tools that are in it, it will make managing and optimizing your Linux system a whole lot easier for you. So let's get over and take a look at the video. Most of the time when I do my videos, I always try to like zip over to the terminal and go ahead and run like a HTOP or a top so you can see what resources are being used in the background. Kind of gives you an idea. You can zoom in on it, kind of see what's going on. And then sometimes in my videos, I'll just close out of that. I will go ahead and open up something like uh, System Monitor. Let's go over here. There's a System Monitor. Kind of gives you an idea of what all processes are going on in the background and then what resources are being used. And then, of course, your file system and the status of that. Today, I'm going to go over a resource manager that I've used for a little over nine months now that blows all of these away. It makes a whole lot of things easier for your resource management. And it makes things a lot easier if you're looking for an application that is using too much RAM or too much CPU and you can kind of narrow that down. So, and the application we're going to talk about today is Stacer. Now, every distribution or flavor of Linux that I have used in the last year, I have put Stacer on. It makes things a lot easier for you, whether it be resource management, whether it be tracking down an application that happens to be using too much RAM or too much CPU, and you can kind of hone in on it. Plus, it gives you great control over what is starting up on your system and what you want to start up on your system at boot. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and close out of this website and we're going to go ahead and open Stacer up so you can see just what it's all about. Now, when you open Stacer up, you're going to get your CPU usage over here. You're going to get your memory usage right here and then your disk usage right here. Now, as you can see, my CPU is running about 20% and my Memory is about 1.6 gigs, okay, with Stacer open, but I want you all to remember I have OBS running in the background and I am recording, so I don't need you to blow my comment section up with, look at how heavy GNOME is on Fedora. But this gives you a nice big dashboard right here. It gives you download and upload speeds down here on your bottom right. Then you've got your host name, your platform, distribution, kernel I'm running, CPU model, CPU cores, and CPU speed. Yes, I know that's kind of a underpowered processor that I'm using, but I don't need a lot of power on this machine. It seems to run pretty smoothly with Fedora, and I'm able to do my videos quite well. But I just like the general overall layout. When you first open up Stacer, it just gives you your dashboard. Everything's right there, and you can see it pretty quick. So what we're going to do now is we're going to zip on over to the second screen, which is your startup apps. Now, right here, if you have an application that actually is starting up, when you boot your system, you can open up Stacer, come over here. You can actually click on that Start App app and actually remove it. I don't have that problem at present. And you can also add a Startup app. Let's say you want Discord to start up or maybe you want your Spotify to start up. This is where you come over here and officially do that. You just click on Add a Startup app. Then you can do a app name. So let's do something like GIMP and see if that'll bring it up fields cannot be left blank oh app comment i forgot about that gimp and then you could put in your command right here that you want it to be so you can pretty much set up all your startup apps that you want to put in there and then you'll be good to go most people i know don't want things to start up when they boot their system but there are some of you out there that would like certain functionality to be already running when you boot your system so that's just another option for y'all there now I'm going to go down to the next one, which is the one I really like, System Cleaner. Now, 
let's say you wanted to uh, clean out your package caches or crash reports or application logs, application caches, or your trash. Now, I do have the capability if I go over here into the terminal and I go ahead and maximize that so you can see it. And let's go ahead and run that up. On Fedora, I have to do sudo dnf clean all. And I can do that. And it'll remove 92 files, as you see right there. Now, that's my cache right there that clears out. So, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this down and close it. It would be much easier for me just to select all right here. And search. And there's all the packages. And there's everything that's in my system that I can clean. I just come down here. Let's look at something real quick. Application logs. There's all the application logs that I can clean. And then, of course, there's application cache or cache. Don't need y'all blowing my comments up going, it's cache, not cache. So, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Cache, cache. It's like when I say GNOME or GNOME. You know what I'm talking about. Let's not pick out the little stuff. Let's worry about the, the product that's in front of us. So, I'm going to go ahead and come down here to the little sweeper button. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You got to select all first. Then come down here to the little sweeper button. Then you got to put in your password. And it'll clean all that. It'll show that there's zero byte, zero byte, zero byte, zero byte. So those are clean. So we're good to go there. Now let's go down to the next. This right here is in beta. Okay, this is a search function. I haven't really messed with this, so I'm going to kind of skip over it. But it's supposed to be able to let you find specific items that you need to clean up your system or specific items that you need to adjust on your system and you can do it from right here inside of Stacer. But we'll get back to that later on down the road when I do an update video when this part of the Stacer isn't in beta. Now, next thing we got right here is your services that are running in the background. Right now, you can scroll down through here and it'll show you what services are actually coming on when you power up your system or services that have come on after you've come to the desktop. Now, right here is all your systems that are doing that, okay? If you find out you're getting a boot error or you have a problem, this is be the area that I would come look. And when I mean boot error, sometimes on Fedora, even sometimes on Ubuntu, that I've noticed when you boot up, you'll get a little notification saying, hey, there was an issue. Uh, wasn't enough to affect the system from starting, but look for this. And then you can kind of come through in here and say, okay, what is, what is starting up at boot? That is causing these problems. Let me see if I can find it. This is just another tool right here in your services that helps you find that issue. Okay, that's what I really love about Stacers. There's so many tools inside of it that you can use. It's more than just, hey, here's what your CPU, memory, and internet is doing at the moment. It gives you tools so you can go in and actually kind of tweak and fix things if you've got an issue. Then you can come over here to the next one, which is your processes. And all of you familiar with like a system monitor or something like that, all you got to do is click on your process, come down here in that process, and it'll close it. Next one is uninstaller. Now, this one comes in handy. I haven't had issues with RPM, and I haven't had issues with DNF. But it's always nice to have a secondary uninstaller on your system for the simple fact that sometimes, and all of you who use Linux know this, that sometimes you'll go into uninstall a package and it just will not uninstall. And another place that it comes in handy is I'm getting ready to do a review on a program called eDrawMax. Now, eDrawMax is not available on a Fusion and it's not available in the DNF. It is available from the company that you download it from. It's a diagramming application and you can install it through your regular software or RPM. You don't have any issues, but if you ever want to get rid of it, when I get rid of it, I'm going to uninstall it from here. And what I'll do is I'll go up here and I'll type in eDraw. And there it is right there. I can click on it and I will go ahead and uninstall from here. The reason I'll do that is because it was an outside application that didn't come from the software store or the DNF or the RPM. I just like it because my experience with Stacer, especially when I used it on Arch, I always used it to uninstall AUR programs, and it seemed that once I started using Stacer to do that, I had less errors in the future. I would download AUR packages, and then if I decided I wanted to get rid of them, I always seemed to have these lingering, 
problems. I don't know why. But when I started using Stacer, it fixed it. Just my opinion. If you guys download this and take a look at it, please let me know in the comments below what you think. And then when you come over here to resources, you got history of your CPU, history of your CPU load averages, history of your disk read write, history of your memory, history of your network, and then of course right here is your local home drive. As you can tell, I've hardly used any of it with the Fedora, and I've also got a ton of different applications installed. So having said that, let's go ahead and move on to the next. And this is your helpers. And basically, anybody who knows about local host domains and domains know what this is. You can change local hosts right down here. Then you can come over and save the changes and it will make things easier on some situations. And then over here, you've got your settings. English, which disk do you want it to be running on? Start page, you can set it up for dashboard. You can change your start page. Like I told you when we started it, first started it up, you got dashboard that pops up here. Let's say you want it to be something else. You can change it to startup apps, services, processes. You can kind of adjust this to make it the way you want to use it. I like that flexibility inside of a program because it makes it feel more like your application as opposed to something you're just using. Alert messages, you can come down here and set an alert message. Let's say your CPU, you wanted to cap it at 70 or 80 percent. You can go ahead and put that up to 70 or 80 percent. And then memory, you can set it. And then your disk percentage. And then once you do that, should any of those parameters right there, your disk goes above whatever percentage or your CPU goes above the percentage that you've issued, it sends out a little warning and lets you know, hey, you got an issue, go take a look at it. And that's a quick look at Stacer, a great resource management application for your Linux machine and a great way to keep your machine clean. That's my opinion. And what do you think about it? Is it something you might download, put on your system and kind of give it a little run around and see how it works for you? Please, if you do, come back and leave a comment below and let me know how everything goes. If you like the channel and enjoy the videos that we're producing, you can support us by becoming a member right here on YouTube, going over to Patreon and becoming a patron to the channel, buying us a coffee, or zipping on over to PayPal and throwing us a donation. As always, thank you for watching my video, and I will see you in the next video.